hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i wanted to do something different i've got this 20 by 20 centimeter canvas i poured several pores on it and it didn't work out so i ended up just splashing paint on it and letting it dry and i thought why not embellish it i've never done this before and i thought maybe it would look looking like some rocks because it's the gray and it has some texture here and there so let's try this together it's my first time and i'm just going to use some chalk and let's start so i'm starting with just drawing some circles So let's do the line work with some black, just cheap black, and then fill in the spaces in between the rocks. So let's give this a night to dry and I'm going to do a second coat of black and then I'll be back. Hi guys, it's me, I'm back. Um, slightly different setup because I changed my um, lights and my camera angle. Uh, hopefully it's going to be a little bit better. Not sure, just going to try. Um, this is the painting I started. I did a second coat of black and I made sure it was completely dry. And then I removed the excess chalk by just brushing it off with my paintbrush. And now we're going to make some um, highlights and lowlights or shadows. I'm thinking about letting the light come from this angle. So my... Low lights are going to come from here. I'm going to mix up a dark gray. What do you think? I don't think that's going to be dark enough. For the next thing, I need a clean brush. Because I need to have only the paint on the tip and not on the whole brush, so I have to clean this one. So I made sure my uh, brush is slightly dampened, and I'm just gonna put paint so you can see. I'm just gonna put some paint on the tip of it, like so, so I can make a gradient. Okay. Let's start with an easy one. Oh, they're all difficult. <laughs> this is my first try, so I have no clue what I'm doing. So let's put it here. I think I already took too much paint. paint on my brush and go over it with just a wet brush and blend it out they make it look so easy but it's actually Pretty damn hard. And I'm not liking how this is looking. No, I'm making a big mess. Okay, let's try that again. Maybe I should use a smaller brush. Okay, a little bit of smaller brush, but I don't have an angle to one. Okay, 
I'm sorry for the noise in the background. It's my dog wanting <laughs> attention. So he's pulling out every single toy he owns and <laughs> putting it into my living room. I'm not sure about this technique. I think I'd rather work with a round brush and just blend it out the normal way. So again, be right back. Yep, final attempt. Got my pointy brush. Okay, so the shadows are on, mostly, <laughs> and let's try to make some highlights. I've been struggling so hard with the shadows, I'm almost losing hope for the highlights. Uh, let's see, let's start at the top, but some are still a bit wet. So maybe it would have been smarter to let it dry, but I've already been on this for um, more than an hour. <laughs> uh, let's start. This already has a little bit of a highlight. So maybe I should just do a little bit. And not go crazy. <laughs> Almost got my sleeve in the paint. I think I want to do uh, a little bit darker shadow right on the bottoms just to give it a little bit more dimension and then I think I'm gonna call it done Let's let it dry and then I'll finish off the black and let's see how it looks when it's done. <laughs> 